What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I haven't posted a video here in a while just because I have been busy working on Colt's truck. We have been slaying away on it. The last video I posted was the Indiana Truck Life truck meet, which was fantastic. Met a lot of cool people, excuse me. Um, I'm not sure when the next one's gonna be or where it's gonna be at. Once I get the details, it will be posted on my Instagram, so go follow me on it. But I'm basically gonna give you guys a little walk around, try and get some of Colt's truck done here real quick. Um, give you guys an update of what we've gotten done and what we have left to do. So uh, stay tuned guys. Okay guys, starting off, um, if you're a new viewer, this is my buddy Cole's 1994 K1500, I believe. Um, the body's a 1500, the frame and everything else is a one ton. He swapped it over. It's got a crate motor in it. Um, but that's basically all I can tell you because I'm not 100% sure on all the details. But right now I am doing the body work, um, rockers, cab corners, fixing the dents. We're going to be painting the whole thing. We got a new bed for it, but I'll show you guys that here shortly. But, <clears throat> excuse me, on this side we did the cab corner and rocker panel. Um, we opted to splice in the rocker panel on this side just because everything up here is solid and we didn't want to remove the fender if we didn't have to to replace everything. The other side is different, but this side's pretty much finished other than sanding. Um, the passenger side, on the other hand, I have to do a little bit more yet. So we we're going to do the same, splice it in but it was rusted way up here in the corner so we had to or i cut it out and was like cool i can butt everything up splice it in well it decided to crack all the way up behind the fender for the reason the fender is unbolted and pulled out to put the new rocker panel in but i have everything welded in i have filler on everything all i have to do is put some seam sealer down here to make it look factory seam sealer up behind the rocker panel to make it look factory and then basically sand everything off um, i got to put a little seam sealer on the back of the cab right through here on the where the back of the cab meets the cab corner to make it look factory i got the other side done but other than that everything is going really smooth i have some dents i have to fix like one here then there's one on the back of the cab here and then i believe there's one over here on this uh pillar somewhere that i have to fix but everything else like i said is going extremely smooth um got a little dent there i'll have to fix the plan for the truck is we're going to try and get the doors all sanded cleaned up and jammed um, get them hung back on the truck once we get everything else jammed like the insides here jammed then we'll hang the doors we're going to do a truck lining down the bottom to just help with like when you climb in and out of trucks i'm sure a lot of you guys have the war paint here we're going to put the truck bed lining down that works tremendously to stop or help fight rust and then stop the paint flake excuse me again um, the paint flake so we're going to do that i'm not sure how high we're going to go if we're going to go up to the point here if we're going to kind of keep it lower but the cool thing is, is you can paint over it and it just, like I said, it helps with like rock chips, your boot marks that you leave and all that. So once we get that done, we're going to paint everything, hang the doors, like I said, and then we'll sand everything, tape up everything, paint the body, and then we'll paint the bed and then paint the hood and then just reassemble everything. Um, we are color matching the flares. So this one's the original one. It's got the wire with the bolts in it so we won't be able to take that one off and unfortunately but oh well the other ones we will he's already got the ones off the old bed so we'll pull this one off sand everything paint behind it paint the flares put everything back together just like normal um i'll jump over to the next room i gotta open the door real quick so i'm gonna shut you guys off and then bring you back when we're over there show you the new bed and uh, we'll go from there Okay guys, as you can tell, we have the new bed here. Um, we went and picked this up probably two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago. Maybe a week. week I don't know, whenever it was. Um, he got this picked up. We brought it back here. He started staining and stuff on it. The plan for this thing is we're obviously going to 
clean it all out, pressure wash it all up. Um, he started sanding on it. I believe we're gonna do a truck bed liner. Um, and then obviously the top of the rails here will be sprayed also, so we'll tape up. And I think we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom with the rock chip all the way back. Um, just to make it look clean, we'll paint everything. Um, I'll probably throw some Rust-Oleum paint in here to help um, save it. But that's, I mean, the truck bed is in really good shape. It was, got a few dings and dents on it. Like, I don't know how you guys will be able to see it, but there's a little crease here that I got to bend out yet. Um, I got a little dent here we'll have to fix. And then there was a little bit of rust on the arch wells that I fiberglass. But like I said, we're going to do the um, fender flares back over it. So I'm going to put a little filler over it, sand it back smooth. Um, we're going to rhino line basically where the flare would sit. And then when you put the flare up, you won't be able to tell. But just for that added protection, we're gonna do that. Same thing on the other side. Um, this bed is way better shape than the other one. The other one, the insides were all smashed out. This one's got a little bit here and that is it. On the other one, it was all down both sides. I mean, there was a gap like yay, yay big up on those pillars right there. I'll zoom in real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Right there where I just zoomed in. Right here, there was a probably half inch gap of where some metal just rolled around and beat the living tar out of the bed. But like I said, this bed's a heck of a lot better minus the little like dings and dents and stuff. But we're gonna fix that. Um, He's been sanding on it. I think we're gonna try and get this bed lined here shortly and then we're gonna do an epoxy primer on it and then paint it and clear coat it and throw it back on the truck. Um, I'm gonna get, go back in here where the truck is, um, do a final walk around and then that's basically gonna be a little update video on Cole's truck. We're back guys. Um, if you guys have any questions on auto body painting, um, just normal truck stuff, let me know down in the comments. I love answering them. I love interacting with you guys. I'm trying to build my subscriber base, so be sure to tell friends, family, share the videos and stuff. Um, I'm gonna try and do a lot more truck meets and stuff this summer, so if you guys are close and wanna come meet me, feel free. I'll probably end up giving away like bracelets, my learning as I do, doing what I love bracelets. I have sunglasses I'll probably end up giving away and stuff. So be sure to come out, um, show your support, because I'm trying to build the channel to where we can start doing more truck content and I possibly might be building a tractor and just different stuff like that. So if you guys like the diesel stuff, like the truck stuff, like anything basically off-road, um, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Um, I hope you guys like the content that we have so far. I'm on a basically limited budget right now between trying to build the hashtag project 79 that's my 79 gmc and trying to get the 98 going um ran into some problems with that but that'll be another video so right now that's basically going to be the little update video on cole's truck like i said if you're a new viewer smash that subscribe button stay tuned guys for future content um share the channel share the love let's get more viewers more subscribers so we can continue growing and uh yeah, guys, remember, learning as I do, doing what I love. I'm the GM man. I'll catch you guys in the next one.